Welcome back to Vox Terra. Today, I want to focus on the question. I'm looking again at the Republican primary debate, the first one, when Chris Christie, Republican candidate Chris Christie, called other candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, said he sounds like ChatGPT and some other comments. I want to ask, was Chris Christie being inadvertently quite deep or simply using some racial or ethnic stereotypes. Well, let's check it out. I've had it, no, Let, wait, no, hold no. on, hold I've on. I've had enough. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. And the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, What's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama. Well, the chat GPT combined with the Barack Obama analogy, I would say dancing with or flirting with or touching upon or evoking some ethnic or racial stereotypes. Just simple stream of consciousness. We'd think Vivek and of Indian descent. We're going to have associations of people from India and China as in the tech industry in the U.S. of A., Involved in programming, the Barack Obama comparison speaks for itself, and then calling him ChatGPT like he's not really thinking for himself. But remember, I did not like what Vivek was thinking, okay? Don't get me wrong on that one. My hands are in my pockets. No, 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 so where, you ask, is the deepness to all this? Well, by comparing him to ChatGPT... That kind of resonates with me, having debated politics with people for a lifetime. Because in what ways are we all somewhat like ChatGPT? In what ways are we not really as free-thinking as so many people like to think they are? And I would argue the more you realize the limitations of your free thought, the freer you're going to be. So when it comes to our political analysis, I just want to give you a, a personal anecdote. I was recently pushing back against some anti-China mongering, if you want to call it that, with a relation of mine. We we'll call him Uncle Bob. So Uncle Bob's saying how China's a threat and this kind of thing. And I'm coming back at Uncle Bob saying, Uncle Bob, here's why I think the situation's a bit different. Now, Uncle Bob, we're both getting our danders up a bit. And Uncle Bob's saying, hey, this is between me and you, Kai. And I, I said... It ain't, Uncle Bob, because we're both just synthesizing what we hear in the media. Only one difference is I have self-taught, so I consider myself to now analyze these news events from what's the commercial interest at stake not being talked about. What are the commercial interests driving war and conflict on our end? What are the commercial interests driving the continuous use of fossil fuel, petrochemicals, and this disposable throwaway economy we seem so locked into? Whereas you, Uncle Bob, are not taking that critical analysis, but just sort of synthesizing what the media is throwing at you, trusting that it's coming from a source you trust, and the media is so powerful for people because really, our reality itself is mediated. Well, what the heck do you mean by that one? Well, what I mean, take the example of our eyesight or hearing. The sound waves hit our ears or light waves hit our eyes. They are then transmitted through the nervous system to our brains, where our brains create some kind of a visual map of what the heck it all means. But there's not exactly a you or an I experiencing reality directly. Well, we could think about how consciousness itself operates. We know there's these things called nervous cells and they're transmitting information through these electrochemical signals. And then apparently there's stuff, some stuff happening in the quantum field now I'm hearing. But there's some similarity to how the computers are working with these electrical signals. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot to mention that to comment on Chris Christie calling Vivek Ramaswamy an amateur. And I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur Chris, standing on stage tonight. Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug just same, like you did to Obama. The same type of amateur. And, and you'll help elect me just the, like you did to Obama, Obama, too. Give me that the same hug, type of amateur. Hey, Richard, got, hold on, hold on. Well, if we take that away from just Vivek Ramaswamy, but apply it to really all of our elected officials, then it becomes a deep comment if people got that, that none of these people are really experts in everything. 
They just know their narrow field and how they got to where they are. Take Donald Trump. A lot of people believe because he's rich, he's somehow an overall expert. No, he knew how to get rich or come from a rich family and hold on to some of that money. That's what he knew how to do. But that didn't mean he then understands climate science or or how the ecology operates or how dioxin is going to affect the human body or PFAS chemicals or anything like that. Well, did Chris Christie mean to be so deep? I really don't think so, but I thought it was an interesting food for thought kind of video. And if you thought so too, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Yeah, click that notification bell. You're commenting, you're liking, offering constructive criticism as well as positive feedback. Thank you for supporting a Patreon to my two patrons, Bella Grissy Environmental Coffee House. I could definitely use some more coming in. And as always, until next time, peace be with you.